first of two meetings this season between the Calgary Flames and the New Jersey Devils. Flames 2-0-2 to start the season. The Devils 0-2-2. As we take you to the starting goalies, brought to you by Intact Insurance. Your home, your auto, your business. Ask your broker about Intact Insurance Company. For New Jersey, Marty Brodeur, the NHL's all-time winningest goalie. 669 victories for Calgary. Joey McDonald makes his fourth consecutive start and faces New Jersey for the first time since March 7th of 2009 when he was a member of the New York Islanders. What a great uh, opportunity for these young players to get a chance to play against a future Hall of Famer in Bruder. Speaking of opportunity, TJ Galliardi gets the opportunity to move up with Ben Street and Curtis Glenn crosses. David Jones lost for the Flames week to week with an upper body injury and that's going to be a big one. He was very good in the first four games for the Flames. Ben Street turns right into Eliash and it's dumped back into Calgary and waiting for it, Giordano. Eliash gets it back, plays it towards the net. I don't think McDonald saw it to the last moment. Zidlicki goes back in the neutral zone and falling back to pick it up is Zubris. Big opportunity for these young players to, when you talk about streets along with Galliardi and Glenn Cross have the job of going up against the number one line of, of the New Jersey Devils, especially with Yarmory Yarger on the line. Mark Giordano parked in behind Joey McDonald's cage, finds Brody off the boards, and Lance Boma, who had been skating on the fourth line, gets elevated as well. He's out there with Michael Backlund and Yuri Hoodler. Larson up the middle. Damian Bruner across the line. Can't control it for New Jersey. Butler is there, but it's Zajac with the puck. Sharp angled shot. Turned away. Green off the board. Zajac with it. Boma is there. He ties up. Zajac comes up with the puck and Calgary's away. Butler to the side of the net. Underneath Brodeur. He has it. As Backlund got the tip on the pass from Butler. And Marty Brodeur had it, but not quite sure he had it. Well, you're seeing everybody play with a lot more confidence. Uh, fans are a little upset, no call, tripping against uh, Boma, but no problem. You stay right with it. Nice feed to Butler, jumping up on the play, and good heads-up play there, a redirect over to Michael Backlund, and I don't know how this did not end up in the net as it goes right between the pads of the goaltender, Brodeur. Uh, but again, you're seeing lots of heads-up play by everybody. Dennis Wyvin firing it towards the net. And it's picked up, and Adam Henrique out to center for the Devils. Henrique, long shot into the glove of McDonald. He hangs on for a faceoff. The keys to the game are brought to you by Budweiser. Great games are waiting. Well, it's a big game for the Flames, and they're not having Vancouver. They don't have the Montreal Canadiens. They need themselves to create their own noise in this building. Especially it's a big game before the head, last game before the head out on the road. And the Devils need a more complete game. They've been in every game they've played this year, yet they've come away with no victories. Devils last three games have gone to overtime or shootouts. They haven't come up with any victories there. Long shot turned away by Brodeur. Backward. After. Some help from Hoodler. Now Lance Poma. Big hit in the corner. He knocks Henrique down. He's slow to get up, but he looks like he's okay. And Boma, he mentioned, got kind of upended before that last whistle. Now he's out there taking some numbers. Well, that's his, his game. He has to play that physical style game no matter what line he is playing on. He's trying to play with Backlund and Hoodler. There's Russell out to center, but a nice back check. From Josephson making his season debut for the New Jersey Devils, number 16. Eric Zidlicki out to center. Veteran NHL defenseman crosses the line. A little give and go. Steven Gianta plays in front of the net, but Chris Butler there. Puck doesn't get out. Kept in by the Devils. Now Butler out to center, and there's Tim Jackman. His 200th game as a member of the Calgary Flames. First of this season, he falls in the corner. Salvador, the captain of the Devils gets introduced to Jackman as he knocks him down. Big hit by Tim Jackman and you knew he was going to come out with a little vim and vigor. 
Well, he's been working hard, and Bob Hartley had mentioned that, uh, that uh, the guys that are going to work hard, the guys that are going to get their opportunity, they just have to be ready, and that's exactly what, as you said, Tim Jackman working hard after every practice. Giordano intercepting a pass, gains the line, long shot, Brodeur knocks it down, rebound is there, goes to the boards. Now Eliash, right up by Brody, nice play by T.J. Brody. But Yager, surprising Brody, a little back and forth, and the Flames still have the puck, and they'll get it out. Giordano now on the other side of the ice. Brodeur comes out to play it. One of the truly great puck handling goaltenders really revolutionized that part of the game. Now Weidman with room shoots into the glove of Marty Brodeur. And we've seen that pose before. This period brought to you by Toyota. The 2013s must go to make room for the 2014s. On now at your Toyota dealer. Another great Example of defenseman getting up and jumping up into the play. This setting up a two-on-one and good release by Dennis Weidman and a big save for Berdur. Stempniak playing it behind the net. Picked up in the corner, but tied up as Olish caught up with a referee. Now Bruner, Damian Bruner, out to center. Played with Detroit last year. Zajac gets the pass. Gives it to Olish. Trying to fire it back out to Zajac. Stempniak. Has it taken away by Travis Zajac? It's been a slow start to the season offensively for Zajac. Just one assist on the year so far. Stepniak hooks it ahead. Monahan in the Devils zone. Flames making a line change, so he's really a man alone right now. Eric Zidlicki cuts it ahead. He's Henrik with it. He'll dump it to the corner, but there's Yuri Hoodler off the glass. Salvador keeping it in. Henrique with the puck. Going to go around Brody. And Salvador towards the net. Adam Larson. The Devils now with some possession in the Calgary end, but nothing to show for it. Larson, his shot makes it through. McDonald has to make the stop. Brody tried to get it away from Salvador. Captain of the Devils below the goal line. Plays it out in front. And it's poked out. As Hoodler gives chase, Larson will pick it up. Best shift of the night so far for the Devils, and you can see how they can be quite dangerous. They also utilize their defensemen as far as outlet passes, but you're not seeing a big offensive threat from back there. Played back out to center. Marty Brodeur has already lasted longer in this game than his last trip to the Saddle Dome. On January 10th of 2012, he lasted all of five minutes and 32 seconds before he was pulled, giving up two goals on five shots. Goes off the skate over top of the net, and the whistle goes. Quick starts have really been in favor of Calgary so far this season, Charlie. And it's been very valuable for them. Obviously, we see with the points, but confidence-wise for these young players to get goals early in the game keeps them going and seven of the 15 goals coming from new players and one of the new players along with a veteran hoodler monahan have five points so far and they've got points in every game they played and so bob hartley's been able to utilize all four lines when he can and he also has the luxury of having that early lead that comes back to the point shot mcdonald with the save waiting for it right in front with Steve Bernier, but it never came to him. Olchenkov back, but it's an icing call. Is Harold also there for New Jersey? Here is the basket of half-eaten zucchini sticks from the win known as Money Monday. Pick your winners today with pools. Ashley's line back out there for New Jersey. That includes Yammer Yager and Dana Zubris. It's Yager with the punt. Eliash in the slot, and didn't get all of that. It's fired through the air, Stepniak after it. Eric Zidlicki is there, little trouble getting it by Stepniak. He goes to give it back to Michael Packman, passes by him. Giordano, turning it around the board. Backlund is there, but he can't get it out. Yes, he can as he blocks Zidlicki's offering. Hoodler holds up. Zubris chases into the corner. 
comes back to the point. Brody with room. He's shot. Hits the referee. Mike Lego. Looks like he's okay. Wasn't expecting that. As the shot went wide. Just went right off Lego. Here's Giordano. Both teams making some changes. Puck comes to the line of the Devils. They'll play it back off the red line and in. And back to get it, Mark Giordano. Brody. Can't get it out. Zajac is there. Polish, one-time member of the Florida Panthers, fires it to an open corner. DJ Galliardi is there. Gets a little help from Ben Street. Flames going side to side, but not getting it out. Go, 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 Devils go, go. showing some good pressure. Well, they're the type of team that, that uh, they will play tough defensively and they will not be outworked. And uh, when they're struggling to score goals offensively, they'll try to put a pretty good crash on. Another icing call. And the Flames really haven't got their skating legs going. We talked about the quick starts, and usually those quick starts have come because the Flames get their legs moving. Well, that's that work ethic, and that's something that, uh, you know, when you've got the buzz in the building and you've got the Montreal Canadiens and the Vancouver Canucks, uh, they're going to have to learn uh, pretty quickly that they can't sneak up on teams anymore, and they're going to have to build up their own enthusiasm, especially as they go on this long road trip. Curtis Glenn Cross out to center. Holds up, Flames making a change, and Glencross does a nice job of buying his team some time. It's time the Devils will fire it back into Calgary territory. This is an icing call. For help finding the best tires for your vehicle and your budget, talk to Cal during our Don't Wait for Winter sale. Featuring the Michelin X-Ice XI3. Sale ends November 2nd. Peter DeBoer looking for his first win of the season. Very well prepared coach utilizes his coaching staff whenever possible. He's got some good ones on there, led by NHL veteran Mike Foligno. Dave Barr, Scott Stevens also on that staff. Chris Russell battling for it, trying to get it away from Ryan Klo. And Zidlicki, nice job at the line to Henrique, but it's poked back to the line, and again, Zidlicki keeping it in. Now Adam Henrique's shot goes off the back glass. Stentniak comes over, plays it to the line, and Salvador will keep it in. Now Weidman. Pinballs around, and Sean Monahan slows things down, but he back for, or backhands it into his own bench. Calgary and New Jersey are scoreless. It's TELUS Flames Hockey. It is Hockey Fights Cancer Awareness Night here as the Flames meet the Devils. This is six-year-old Leland Ryerson dropping the puck. The Flames Foundation for Life's 50-50 Ravel sales are directed to Hockey Fights Cancer tonight. Proceeds from the sales of Hockey Fight Cancer apparel available in Fanatic stores during October will be directed to the entire program of Hockey Fights Cancer. And you'll notice the ties and pins on Rob and Charlie and myself throughout the course of the game as we're all taking part in this critical battle against cancer. Flames get it out of the zone. Boma gives it away to Steven Gionta. He'll play it back in. And out to touch it is Joey McDonald. You'll notice McDonald's got some lavender tape on his stick. A number of the Flames do tonight. That one shot in on Brodeur. He'll hang on. And these sticks that have the lavender, Charlie, you'll be able to go to NHL.com as they'll auction those off for Hockey Fights Cancer. So. Well, that's a great opportunity for fans not only to be part of the National Hockey League and get some pretty good memorabilia, but with the uh, ability to help out such a great cause. And uh, unfortunately, it, uh, this horrible disease has touched pretty well everybody I know, and it's uh, a great way to help out whenever you can. Scoreless here in the first period nearing the midway point. Shots 5-4 in favor of Calgary. Flames with a couple of good scoring chances. Devils with one of their own. Galliardi brings it across the line, but it's brought in offside. And while we're talking about uh, Hockey Fights Cancer, our thoughts and our prayers go out to the Vice President of Communication and Media Relations for the Calgary Flames, Peter Hanlon. He is back home in Newfoundland. His father, Peter Sr., is battling cancer right now. And we hope that, uh, well, Pete hears us and uh, knows that we're all thinking of him and uh, you can't find a nicer guy in our business than Peter Hanlon. So our thoughts and our prayers with the Hanlon family. Olchenkov to Zajac. 
out to Bernier, onto the stick of Peter Harrell. He'll jump into the rush. Harrell slides it towards the net. Nobody to deflect it or get any kind of wood on it. And Zajac trying to muscle by Stepniak, get some help from Gianta. Stepniak to the boards, and Monaghan now fighting Volchenkov. They get the puck out. Calvary again knocking in their own bench. It's a search for Canada's next sportscaster. Gillette drafted on Sportsnet 360s every Friday at 8 p.m. Mountain. Aspiring broadcasters compete for a one-year contract at Sportsnet and a one-year contract to be a Gillette spokesperson. So Anton Volchenkov in the box. Two minutes for interference, Charlie. That battle right up by the blue line. Right along the boards, and he gets his hand right around the shoulder and neck of Lee Stepniak. And so at the end of a pretty good broken play, the Flames get advantage of a power play. To correct myself, it's holding, not interference. As the Flames go to the power play for the first time, but they have to be careful of the Devils. Short-handed. And a nice deflection there by T.J. Brody. New Jersey already with one short-handed goal this year. They had 11 last year, 15 the year before. This is a team that can create offense when killing penalties. Well, like any other team now in the National Hockey League, they're not afraid to use their top offensive players to kill penalties. And uh, when you've got the likes of uh, Zubris, Eliash, or Yager on a penalty kill, they'll go on the offense. Flames 2 for 14 on the power play so far this year, including Curtis Lanecross, who scored very important, the game-winning goal on the power play against Montreal on Wednesday. Uh, two game-winning goals on the season so far for Curtis Glencross. Had three all last year, albeit a shortened season at 48 games. And this is the type of, a, of a, an action here early in a game that you have to learn how to take advantage of, it, especially when you're, you're playing against a team very tight-checking like New Jersey. Score a power play goal, get that offense going. Sven Berchi out to center, button hooks, finds Monaghan across the line. He'll turn 19 tomorrow as it comes back to Russell. Berchi. As you have Berchi, Backlund, and Monaghan out there, the Flames' first round pick from 2007, 2011, and 2013 up front on this power play. Russell shoots. That one's deflected away. Berchi can't handle it. Monaghan cross crease looking for Backlund. And it's skipped by him. Henrique will fire at the length of the ice. Good composure by a group of pretty young players there to get that puck towards the front of the net. But again, that's been the trademark of the Devils. Tight checking, especially in penalty killing. Glenn Cross finds Ben Street. Short battle. Harold knocked down. Penalty coming up. As Glenn Cross got the hook in on Peter Harold. So a little four-on-four -four hockey in the Devils will get their first power play. But a great chance early as the Flames don't have really much until a shot is made. It goes wide at that point, and then they drop down on the puck. They get three players around the puck, and they just skips above Michael Backlund as Curtis Glencross gets the hooking call there. And that stick in across the stick in hands, the devil player. As Eliash and Yager out there for New Jersey up front. Back when it's Stepniak for Calgary. Eight seconds to go, and the Devils will enjoy their first power play of this game. Butler shot, and it's underneath Brodeur. And he'll hang on. Face-off coming up in the New Jersey end. No goals here at the Dome. It's TELUS Flames Hockey. Week number six of the NFL is underway, and on Sunday afternoon, the Arizona Cardinals will visit the San Francisco 49ers in an NFC West battle on Sportsnet West Pacific and Ontario. On City, it's Breeze and Brady, the 5-0 New Orleans Saints, visit the 4-1 New England Patriots. Both games are at 2 p.m. Mountain Time. So the Devils are two seconds away from their first power play of this hockey game. Calgary out shooting New Jersey 7-4 here in a scoreless first period. So Volchenkov back out on the ice. Devils are one for eight with a man advantage on the season so far. The team struggling to find offense. They've had nine goals scored, but not the type of numbers you expect with some of the guys in their lineup. Jordano tying his man up along the boards, but it comes free. Zajac, Elias. As Yager is an option, he'll use him. 
Boyage back at the point, cross ice looking for Zidlicki. It's tipped up off the glass by Michael Backman. It comes into the neutral zone, and Calgary will make some changes up front. Good active stick by the penalty killers. Yager. Behind the net. Puck given away to Giordano. He'll turn, play to the point, because Zajac's there. He'll keep it in. Galliardi after it. Flames can't get it out. Zidlicki in the way. Yager in front. And it's picked up by Dennis Wyvin. He'll find some real estate to place that puck, and it goes down the ice. Good act of uh, anticipation by both Giordano and by Weidman, especially when you have a guy 6'3", 241, Yarmer Yager, right at the front of the net. He is what we like to call in the business a wide load, is he not? Green shot just whistles wide, and this is going to come all the way back down the ice. He is, but when we speak of Yarmer Yager, he's the active scoring leader in the National Hockey League, 1,691 points. 683 of them goal. Oh. Amazing. Green. Penalized player, Glenn Cross, standing up in the box. Puck comes to the front of the net. Turnaround shot blocked. Glenn Cross is out, so Calgary kills off New Jersey's first power play. We remain scoreless. Henry, back to the point. Green shoots, it dribbles to McDonald, they score! Adam Henrique, 1-0 New Jersey. Henrique really has uh, made a living. Even though he's only played the Flames, this is just a second career game. He's got two goals and an assist already, and he just seems to play very well. And you can see that right from the drop of the puck tonight. He was very focused. Good outlet pass to start this play. But what the big part of that is he didn't stand still. He went right back towards the front of the net, picked up a loose rebound right there, and he was able to jump right on top of it to get the Devils up early here. His second goal against the Flames, his first goal of the season, that last game you mentioned, Charlie, the only game he's played was January 10th of 2012. He had the Gordie Howe hat trick. He had a goal and an assist. If you remember, he fought Jerome McGinley in that game. Well, that's correct. I can remember that now, but he uh, missed the most of the uh, I say almost all of last year with a shoulder injury. So he has, seems to have gotten himself back on track. So the Devils get another lead in the hockey game. They did so in Edmonton earlier in the week. They did so in Vancouver. And they do here in Calgary, up by one. See how the Flames respond. Glenn Cross falls in the corner. It's a little support, but Monaghan can't get it out. Glenn Cross into the neutral zone, takes the hit, but makes the play. Yuri Hudler has it. And Russell into the rush. Goes wide, shoots, it hits Brodeur, bounces right back out in front. And Steve Bernier, one-time member of the San Jose Sharks, will dump it into Calgary territory. Wagon around the boards. Russell gets a stick on it. It ricochets to the red line, but back is Peter Harrell. By Jackman. He goes over and introduces himself to Volchenkov. It's an icing call. And Tim Jackman, as advertised, back in the lineup and hitting people. Well, he's he's type of player with the uh, with his feet moving can make damage. And here, Weidman, this is about the third time this year he's able to come across ice with his hip. And this time, uh, Zubris is the recipient of that big hit. And those types of hits along the boards really put a sting into you. So Henrique gets his first from Damian Bruner and Andy Green, and the Devils are up 1-0. Harold has the puck for New Jersey. Watch, puck goes in the corner, Galliardi after it. Street comes over, puck played away, and Harold has it. He fires it by everybody, and that's an icing call. It'll come back down in the New Jersey end. Chance for the Calgary Flames to do something they haven't done in an awful long time tonight, Charlie. Well, the, the, the big start was back in 09-10 where they were 4-0-0, but uh, this is a team that uh, everybody had written off right from the, the start of the season to be 2-0-2 against some pretty tough teams as, as far as Washington on the road in Columbus and, of course, Montreal and Vancouver. Definitely a very good start for them, and that's something that they want to and will continue to build on. Flames win the draw. Brody's shot makes it all the way through to Brodeur. He'll kick it out. Brody gets the rebound. 
Marty Brodeur is going to take matters into his own hands. Battle for it along the boards. Backlund has it. Shot. Hits somebody in front. Brody sneaks in from the point. Trouble controlling it. He gives it away. Zubris with it. But a penalty coming up. And Calgary will go back to the power play. The Devils get a goal from Adam Henrique. But Calgary going to the power play when we come back. It's Telus Flames Hockey. Patrick Elash in the penalty box for two minutes for hard work, but maybe a little extra as he reaches in and grabs the hook right there on TJ Brody as he tried to button hook back into the offensive zone. So another good penalty drawn by the uh, Devils by good hard work and good skating ability of the Young Flames. Second power play of this period for Calgary. One battle worth noting in this game will be the face-off battle. These have been two teams that have really struggled in the face-off circle the last couple of seasons, and that includes this year. Calgary wins the draw, but Henrique gets to the puck, and he'll dump it down the ice. So Curtis Glencross win that draw, but it was Adam Henrique making a nice play to get the puck down the ice and kill some time on that clock as his team killing another penalty. Weidman finds room, gains the line. Pass comes to the middle. Hoodler, oh, what a save by Marty Brodeur. Hoodler right in the sweet spot, but Brodeur just doing what Marty Brodeur has done for so long. Wide at the point. Stutter steps down the wall. Glenn Cross back to Weidman, but Travis Zajac was in his hip pocket, and he took that opportunity away. Much better power play attempt here. Good puck movement. And moving your body, getting into the open is important to have a successful power play, which means moving your feet. Puck dumped it. Salvador stops and slows it down, and the Devils will get it out. Brody's heading off, and Giordano jumps on. 54 seconds to go in the power play, and Calgary's had to come back in their own end a couple of times. Well, New Jersey has the luxury of having a, almost like a third defenseman back there on a penalty kill, and that's the goaltender, Brodeur, who likes to get out and handle that puck. Giordano brings it across the line. Puck's taken away and shot down the ice by Olish. Joe McDonald, fourth consecutive start for Joey Mack in goal for Calgary. He leaves it up, and here comes Sean Monahan. He'll put it onto the stick of Giordano up to Russell. Berchi. Work around Green. Three flames, two devils, and Berchi comes up with a puck back to the point. Ten seconds to go in Calgary's power play. Russell to Giordano. Body parked in front. Giordano's shot goes off a leg and all the way down the ice. And Patrick Eliash back out on the ice. So the Flames officially 0 for 2 with a man advantage. Two minutes to go here in the first period. And the Devils are up 1-0. Too long, too late to get those shots on net. And that's the thing you have to do is make sure you force the goaltender into making saves. And he sets up rebounds. And it's Weidman's shot. Goes wide, comes back to Brody. Volchenkov can't handle it, neither can Klo. It's Ryan Klo flipping it out. So used to seeing Ryan Klo is a huge member of the San Jose Sharks for all those years, but ended up getting traded last year at the deadline to the New York Rangers and signing with New Jersey in the offseason. Just looked much bigger in that teal blue uniform. Ben Street. Finds Brody, knocks it down. Oh, and that one just missed the post. Nice eye-hand coordination from T.J. Brody as he got that one out of midair. Giordano dumping it in. Bernier has it in his feet. He'll play it back behind the net. There's it's like he is there. A minute to go in the first period. Out in Henrique of New Jersey, the only goal scorer so far. Zidlicki. Into the middle, and that one knocked down. Glenn Cross. Small area play with Backlund. Up comes to the point. Giordano walks the line. Nope, he'll pass it off. Russell shot. Whistles wide. Comes back to Giordano. Calgary poured on the pressure late here in the first. Hoodler. Worked over by Gianta. Backlund looking for Hoodler, but it was Bruner who got a stick on it, and Bernier will dump it in. Well, consistency in the style of game, and that's what the Flames continue to do all 
five games, I guess four four periods in a, uh, four games in a period here, and that's what they have to continue, even if they're up or down by one. Well, for the first time this season, the Calgary Flames will go into the first intermission trailing as New Jersey, looking for their first win of the season, are out in front, one nothing. This period brought to you by Toyota. The 2013s must go to make room for the 2014s. On now at your Toyota dealer. Flames outshot the Devils 10-7, but the Devils found the back of the net. Darren Millard, a pretty interesting period here in Calgary. Robbie, as the trend suggested, the Devils score first for the third straight time on this road trip. We'll go back to Roger Millions and Eric Francis ringside in this first intermission. Plus, John Shannon with an opinion on Martin Brodeur's goaltending and why it's gone to the dogs this season. Adam Henrique is the difference on TELUS Flames Hockey on Sportsnet. The goal. The Calgary Hitmen return home for a pair of games this Thanksgiving long weekend as the Prince Albert Raiders come here tomorrow night, 7 p.m. The Spokane Chiefs on Sunday at a 4 p.m. matinee. Sunday's game will feature a Thanksgiving buffet in the Amazon Young Lounge. Buffet back ticket prices can be purchased online for as low as $25. For more information, visit hitmanhockey.com or call 403-777-4646. The Flames come back on the ice to start period two. Our Flames analyst Eric Francis stopped by. Now, Marty Verdure is always an interesting conversation. He's John and Darren talked about him, but even Bob Hartley had a thought or two about him this morning. Yeah, Bob Hartley faced off against uh, Martin Brodeur, 2001 Stanley Cup final. A goalie named Patrick Waugh up against Martin Brodeur, a pretty good matchup. He called them the two greatest goalies of all time, but when asked to talk about Brodeur, he talked not about him only being one of the great ambassadors of the game, but he said he's one of the great defensemen of our time, let alone a Hall of Fame goaltender. Well, we talk a lot about the young players in the Calgary Flames, but there's a young man with the New Jersey Devils, Adam Henrique, that deserves attention. He scored in the first period. He was a late signing. It took a while to get him under contract this year, but he's a kid that has great potential and again back on the ice this game. Yeah, you know, he's only played in the Dome once before in his entire life, and that was two years ago, and he had a pretty good night. He had a goal, assist, and he had a fight. And he fought a kid named Jerome McGinley, the Gordie O hat trick. And a lot of people considered that his real coming out party uh, as a rookie. And he got 51 points that year, a great year. He struggled last year, but there's his first goal of the year this year, hoping to get him back on track after joining the team just a little bit later than he wanted to. There's a look at his penalty killing, winning a key face off. He's a young man on the rise in the NHL. And of course, that couple of years ago, you mentioned this little dust up he had here. Jerome McGinley, pretty tough customer. I think we all know that. He fought Jerome McGinley this night, and the interesting thing about that, it was the only fight of his career. He only had seven penalty minutes in 74 games that year, so this was his lone tussle. I think Jerome scared him out of fighting ever again. A great work by our guys in the truck. Lonnie Coral go gigging that out from the archives. Rob and Charlie get set for period two. Well, you take a look at uh, the Flames bench as they get set here for this second period. I'm not sure if uh, a Gordy Howe hat trick or a fight is necessary to get this team going. No, they're on chartered waters right now. They have been trailed going into the second period before. But I think listening to Shane O'Brien talking to Roger between periods, they realized uh, how tight it was out there because of the checking of the Devils, and they make that adjustment. TJ Galliardi after it. Sidesteps a hit from Steve Bernier. Flames out shooting the Devils 10-7 in the first. Bruner shot, blockered away by Joey McDonald. Very quiet night for McDonald despite the goal. That was really the, the best and only scoring chance the Devils had in the first quarter. Well, pretty basic shot on that, which set up a rebound, and that's something that, uh, again, with great goaltenders in the league right now, you have to take advantage of those situations because it's hard to beat them on a straight-out shot anymore. Bruner tipping it in, as Dennis Weidman introduced him to his shoulder. Bruner bumping with Weidman. Played off the boards and back down into New Jersey territory. A season-long five-game road trip for the Devils. They've been to Edmonton and Vancouver. They'll go to Winnipeg and Ottawa to finish this off. Still Canadian swing for the team from the Garden City. Good way to start the season, too. I think it says most coaches, they like to see, especially in a early part of the year, get an early road trip in there, get the team bonding. The Devils had an extra day off up at uh, 
Olympic Park. Had a little bit of uh, amazing race kind of competition. Elash in front. Yager had it slip under his stick. Adam Larson at the point. Tipped it. Pinballed around and went wide. Zubras with it. Dangerous shift for the Devils. Hit number 68. Plays it back out to Elash. Behind the back pass to Larson. It goes off a skate. TJ Galley already has it. Out to center. Ben Street hustling to join him. Fairchild over the boards. Takes the hit. He's trying to make a line change. Now they get everybody else out. Green with the puck. He had an assist on that Henry goal in the first period. Finds Yager. The goal scorer, Henry. Back to Yager. Back to the point. Harold. Finds Jogger into the middle, but it's taken away, and Berchi storms out. Poodler with Brody joining the rush. Poodler towards the net. Brody is there, but he couldn't corral the rebound. Brodeur got a glove on it, deflected it to the corner. Giordano, shot goes wide. Berchi comes over, hits his man, pucks free, and the Devils will play it out to the neutral zone. Brody. Back to Giordano. Brody flipping it in. It skips over the stick of Harold. Big Tim Jackman after it. Jackman taken to the end boards. Olchenkov finds Klo. Cross ice pass. Here come the Devils. Ryder shot. Stop. And it's Holborn following up on the play. Not a lot of ice time for the Flames' fourth line in the first period. No, just a couple minutes. Uh for all three of the players, just the way the period had dictated the play, it dictated the lack of playing time. And this is something Bob Hartley wants to make sure that these guys get out, especially early as possible in the game, because it sets the tone as far as the physical play. Shot into the body of McDonald, and he'll hug it close. Is Steven Gianta letting that one go? Take a look at one of the senior New Jersey Devil players. Boy, what a career he has had. He was uh, fifth overall in the first round to Pittsburgh way back in 1990. And I mentioned this is game number three, 1,396 for him. And he has more goals himself than the whole lineup combined of the, Cal the young Calgary Flames. And what a health nut he is now. Works out after every game, before every game. Puck rattles around at the side of the Flames net. Stick in the corner. It's back at the point. Zidlicki shot. Purposely wide, Steve Bernier will hunt it down, plays it back behind the net. Bruner in front, and swing and a miss by Zajac, who was all alone. And the puck pops straight up in the air. Faceoff will remain in the Calgary end. A little bit more pressure for New Jersey here in the second period as the episode of Michael Backlund losing his stick that allows an opportunity the split second opportunity for the Devils to try and get that quick play out front as Ajek as you can see just fanned on that shot as Chris Russell was trying to make that adjustment Billy Ash wins the draw back to the point green over to Larson knocked down by McDonald but he couldn't hang on to it Dana Zubris Gets it away from Giordano. There's Yager. Pushes it back to the point. Young Adam Larson, just 20 years old, with a healthy scratch in Vancouver. Had a long conversation with the coach yesterday. He had a very good preseason, but just didn't bring the same intensity to the regular season, so they sat him down for a game. And then I think you could probably go up and down the whole lineup of New Jersey for that. As you can see, only 9 well, 10 now counting the goal here tonight uh, in five games played. Or, or just over under five games played, and that's something that, uh, you know, maybe a road trip like this, the bonding session that they had at COP the other day, really can get guys relaxed a little bit more and get them back into that game plan. Puck tipped in. Green a little trouble controlling it. Monahan hunting him down. Hoodler comes in trying to push the issue, and Henrique is there. Quick up to Ryder. Has Klo, Ryder. Goes to the middle of the ice, but loses the puck. Now it's on the stick of Glenn Cross. Back over to Erie Hoodler. Hoodler. Finds Berchi off the bench, Weidman to the slot, Dennis Weidman penalty coming up and it's going to go against the Devils, they touch it as Glenn Cross interfered with at the side of the net. This perfectly preserved uniform came to us by a generous donation from our champion's wife. Pick your winners today with Pools. 
Well, Jankoff gets an interference call as the Flames come with numbers here. Good feed and good play by the Calgary Flames. Well, Jankoff just takes down Hoodler as he is positioned just to the left of Brodeur. And that's one of the rare chances tonight, I think, with that numbers coming across the blue line. And that's the skating ability that the Flames have to get themselves back into the, the way they have in the first four games. Monaghan, Berchi, and Backlund, the power play unit out for Bob Hartley with Giordano and Weidman at the point. And you know I love a good nickname, and, and one of the tragedies in hockey is we've gone away from the, the nicknames for the lines, but you got to love the fact that he's playing three first-rounders on the same line. All Calgary picks as well. A little trouble controlling the pass from Backlund. And you won't be staying together long enough to get a nickname unless something happens. Well, again, you, you put these uh, kids into a, a position to succeed in what better play, place and time than on a power play. Seems to make a change as the Devils have been able to kill it off very effectively so far. 40 seconds into this man advantage, and it's mostly been the Flames in the neutral zone. Hoodler has one of the power play goals for Calgary this year. That one rockets off a leg into the corner. Stempniak to Glenn Cross. Behind the net for Hoodler. Back up top, Weidman pushes it to Giordano. Weidman scores! First of the year for Dennis Weidman, and the number one key to a good power play, get into the offensive zone, get things set up, and then some very quick puck movement here. But the key will be Curtis Glencross, who started the play. He goes to the front of the net, right directly in front of Verdure. Verdure has no idea where this puck is. Plus, it's coming at him about over 100 miles an hour. Right there, you can see him just, all he can see is the 20 of Curtis Glencross. And that's just good sacrifice by him and a great one-timer by Dennis Weidman to get this game tied up. Dennis Weidman picks up his first goal of the season. And that's where he can make a living. That big point shot on the power play. And Calgary back in it thanks to the man advantage goal. Stick broken behind the net is Harold. Gives it to Yager. Hoodler and Giordano picking up the assist. Hoodler now with points in all five games the Flames have played so far this year. Lachenkov, man who's in the penalty box from Calgary, scored the tying goal, keeps it in. It's tipped through the blue paint. Giordano after it. Gets it away from Zubris. Up to Hoodler. Hits Galliardi in the back of the skate. And the Devils come up with it. Shots favoring the Flames. 13-11 here in the second period. And are all knotted up and one. Mark Giordano, 19th captain in Calgary Flames history. Monaghan. Control it. Damien Bruner has it. He'll play it away from fellow countryman Sven Berchi. A pair of Swiss players who probably have a pretty good chance of representing Switzerland at the Olympics in February. Both Bruner and Berchi. Well, both of them very gifted, especially in that offensive zone. Speaking of which, Bruner makes a 4A into the offensive zone. It comes back to Bryce Salvador at the point. The captain hits Brian McGratton with the puck. Now Berchi is the Devils trapped offside. Gets a little bit of room. Brody passed by everybody. This is going to be an icing call. It is. As we are able to award our first score and win of the night on behalf of Safeway Score and Win and Post Serial, Helen Erickson of Burdett, Alberta, has won a Bradley Original Electric Smoker. As Weidman shot, just smoked right by Brodeur. He couldn't even see it. A lot of good little things happen on that goal. Uh, you see the result, the big shot, but uh, the Curtis Glencross screen, a nice pass by Hoodler to get things going, and a good heads up shot by Weidman. He didn't bury his head. He looked for that little hole that he could shoot through, and he found it. TJ Brody back to get the puck in behind his net miner. He's going to head off, so he'll leave it there. In charge now is Chris Butler. Chased out of the rabbit hole by Adam Henrique. Butler up the ice to Weidman. Calgary's goal scorer. Oh, and a hard shot off green shin pad. Stepniak intercepts the puck in the offensive zone back to the point but Weidman had retreated defensively in the neutral zone so they give up the line and Calgary back in their own end. 
very important uh, as the Flames have to con contain themselves after giving up that or getting that goal. You don't want to give it back right away, so you tighten up defensively. Green comes up with it. Watched by Glenn Cross. Here's Mike Ryder. Last year in Dallas, along with Yager, and then ended up in Montreal. And behind the play, Ryder got tangled up with Weidman. And Weidman looks like he's okay. He was really good after tying this game at one in the second. It's Tellus Flames Hockey. A reminder to play Safeway's million dollar score and win if any Flames player scores five times in tonight's game. Then Craig Hook of Lethbridge could win one million dollars. Shop and swipe at Safeway. You could be our next lucky winner right here on Sportsnet. Boy, I hate when this happens. Lance Bulma chasing Peter Harold around the net, catches the mesh, spears himself with the stick. Fortunately for him, that stick snaps up very quickly, went off to get attention by the trainers. Back on the bench now, which is good news, but that happens along the boards. You catch an edge or something, and the stick just ends up going right into your own stomach. Long season last year for Bulma. He played just the first three games for Abbotsford, then suffered an ACL and MCL. Injury in his right knee. Just got back on the ice in April, so last thing on earth he wanted was another injury. It's chipped out by Calgary. Jackman after it. Holborn is there. McGratton following up. Ryan McGratton tips it in. Jackman paired up with Volchenkov, and Jackman who ends up down on the ice. Calgary, though, with the puck. McGratton shot. Kicked away by Brodeur. McGratton off the side of the net. Butler pinches in. He'll play it down low. Colburn is there. The former Maple Leaf product. Couldn't negotiate contract, but Brian McGratton negotiated contract. Contact, I should say. And he sent Peter Harold flying. Shot in. Brodeur stops it. And the rebound rolls right to his glove. Good work by the Flames' fourth line. But six hits right there in that one corner. They're going to have to replace some of the boards. And Jackman and McGratton right here both throwing their weight around. Cause a turnover. And actually we've got two good shots on net by the fourth line. We're getting a little bit more ice time here. Not a lot of, not too many power plays. So that gets them going. But they got the coach's attention. Bob Hartley coming over, patting him on the back. Take a look at those eyes. You don't want anything to do with that man when he gets in that zone. Well, he utilizes uh, his skating ability, which is a big part of hitting. Uh, so does Tim Jackman. You've got to be able to skate to get in there and use your legs. Zubra skating. He has the puck. His pass broken up by T.J. Brody, who dove in front of it. Now Yager behind the net. Tied up by Brody. Yoger. Yager, I should say. Breaks free. Tipped in. McDonald has it, fighting with Zubris for it. Eliash comes in and Brody says, no, 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 my goalie's got it, thank you very much. Well, you've got to have your, your head on the swivel too when you look at the experience of that line with Eliash Yager, Zubris moving that puck around. This is a great high redirect here right to Pat Patrick Eliash right there. And Joey McDonald had to come up with a very big save here. That's a tough save for McDonald because he's concentrating on the defenseman. And then it changes direction across your body, then comes back at you. Puck goes out in the neutral zone and all the way back down to devil territory. Bernier back on it. Monaghan looking for him. Really quiet night offensively for Sean Monaghan so far. He has points in the Flames' first four games and goals in the last three, but nothing to show for it so far. Well, this is the type of game he's going to learn from. It. Because the Devils will not give you freedom out there or a lot of space, you've got to find a way to make your own space. Bernier, pass goes wide. Off the bench, Larson behind the net. Zajac is there, passes it, nobody home. Yuri Hoodler hustling up to pick it up. Former Detroit Red Wing stops up, finds Weidman on the backhand, but he got back pressure, and the puck turned over by Calgary. Zajac takes it away. His pass to Henner to Bruner, and he misses. As off the bench, Damian Bruner jumped right in the rush. Now he's heading back off. I think he's a little shaken up. Icing call. It's going to come back down to the Calgary end as Damian Bruner snuck behind everybody. Oh, a very dangerous opportunity and Zajac makes sure he gets himself back defensively picks up that loose puck and then the confusion along the boards right here you've got to make that commitment as Chris Butler doesn't get that puck 
by the defender of, of the Devils, and that allowed that quick breakaway pass. And Bruner very gifted offensively. Ryder keeps it in. Harold's shot goes off the stick up into the mesh, and that one will fall back down to earth. But not before the whistle goes. We are tied at one in the second period. Calgary and the Devils. It's Teller's Flames Hockey. This past June at the NHL entry draft, the Calgary Flames chose Sean Monaghan at the sixth spot, but they had an unprecedented three picks in the first round of 22. They took Emile Poirier, and Emile was just named the first star of this past week in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, skating for Gatineau Olympique. And he is a young man, and I don't like to make a lot of predictions when you're dealing with youngsters, but Charlie, next year, he's gonna push awfully hard for a job here in Calgary. He really is. He uh, really was committed to, to this game and the style they wanted to play. They, they knew he, he knew he had to get back and work a little bit on his skating, but boy, was he a competitor in every shift and every drill. Throw a little note in there for the Calgary product, Morgan Klimchuk, who the Flames took with their third first round pick. He's leading the Regina Pats in scoring. Brian Klo behind the net, but waiting for it was Russell. Slides it to Backlund and a quick pass back to Russell. Now Flames caught in a little bit of trouble in their own end as Ryder comes over. Good thing to see Lance Bowman back out on the ice. Bowman, the high man, watching Larson. Quick pass to Green. His shot tipped in front, goes wide. Henrique's on it. Backlund chipped it away from him. Ryder to Klo. Flames struggling with the Devils' rotation on the cycle. Puck comes back up top. Larson looking for a lane. Boma right in his face, and the puck goes to the corner. Calgary will come up with it. And Rob, they're really defending it very well, the rotation there. They're giving them the perimeter. They're not getting allowed to, to make that rotation towards the front of the net. Keeping, keeping them to the outside, Yager. Watched by Backlund. Zubris now. Top of the crease, Yager comes out in front. Weidman's there, passes it. TJ Galliardi collects the puck. Just some big wide sweeps with a stick buys enough time for his line to make a change. And they were out there a long time. Uh, they had to go through one whole line and the Devils were able to, to change a lineup and get that fresh uh, power line of theirs out there trying to do some damage. Dogger's pass, cut off. Glencross looking for it. It's taken away from him, but Giordano has the puck. Mark Giordano out to center. Aaron Zidlicki steps in front of it. Gives it right back to Giordano. Tipped in. Ben Street turned away. Zubras couldn't connect with it. McDonald will come out. Plays it away from Brody. It's picked up. Travis Zajac. Side of the net. Bruner. Forced to the corner by Giordano. And the puck picked up by Lee Stepniak. Good illustration of what you were talking about, my friend. Flames did a great job of keeping the Devils, in that case, to the outside. Well, there was a case in the past where you make a mistake like that. You'd almost think it was going to end up in your own net, but they were able to cover up defensively. Turning in. Tied up by Butler. Glenn Cross picks it up. Pass tipped out to center. Chris Glenn Cross likes playing the New Jersey Devils. Four career games. He has seven points, three goals, and four helpers. Played a huge role in Dennis Weidman's goal to tie this game, although he didn't get any offensive credit for it. Now the Devils outman the Flames behind the net. Puck comes back to the point. Adam Larson is there. His shot through traffic sails up into the mesh. And the faceoff will be in the Calgary end. Canadian Pacific Goals for Kids is proudly sponsored by Canadian Pacific and its 2,700 railroaders based in Calgary. For every Flames goal this season, the railway will donate $250 to Kids Sport and the Flames Even Strength Program. Keep scoring, Flames. It helps CP build stronger kids and stronger communities. Well, that's a nice touch, too, especially where the Flames have gotten off to a very good start offensively, getting themselves some, some goals and helping the kids. I'm a huge fan of the Flames Even Strength Program, all of those programs, but particularly the Even Strength Program, which makes sure kids get to play hockey here in Calgary. As it's shot back down the ice, now we got a race for it. Big Ryan Klo gains position on Dennis Weidman. Klo holds up, Weidman falls, but he's back up. Now a shot rider, it's blocked by Russell, and that one stung Russell. He heads off. As Berchi following up, feathers it through. Oh, Hoodler, I don't.
don't think he expected the pass to make it through three players. It did, and he was a little surprised on the back end of it. Well, he might even be more surprised than Monaghan, who was getting the recipient of that pass from Hoodler uh, as it went through, as you mentioned, three or four bodies. Monaghan steals it from Green. Back to the point. Giordano over to Brody. Brody shoots high over top of the net. Enrique Greener there, Monaghan for Calgary, but it's cleared. And Brody back at his own blue line. Amazing after a good defensive play by Russell, you can see some offense start. Shot stopped by Brodeur. Following up, Galliardi back to Michael Backlund. He fights in the corner with Eliash, and it's picked up and dumped out by Ryan Cole at the end of a very long shift for big number 29 in white. Michael Backlund uh, had to battle four doubles by himself as uh, all the frames get caught on the other side of the ice. Rodeur can't get to the puck, Galliardi can. Off the side of the net, it comes right up the middle. And it is the Devils away. Eliash, all-time leading scorer for the New Jersey Devils. Spins at the flame blue line. Gets it low, pass to Zubris from Yager, just out of range. And it's played back in by the Devils. McDonald gives it away in the corner, it skips over the stick of Yager. It's a couple of times Joey McDonald's giving up the puck here in the second period shot scores Dana Zubris top of the circle beats McDonald 2-1 New Jersey well you just you just mentioned it too you miss you lose the, that concentration and, and the communication between uh, goaltender defenseman and forwards it just gives the opposing team another opportunity right here they have control they don't get it they battle along the boards the Devils do a good job of controlling it right here. Nice little feed over to Zubris, and he lets it go in a hurry as the Flames try to block it. And sometimes when you start blocking shots like that, you lose sight of the puck as it goes off the stick. As Yager going hard to the front of the net along with Wyden. Did he tip it? Or is that Zubris' goal? A lot of velocity on that one. We'll yeah. have to, to wait and see that one because of the angle. And you can see as they come across the block shot, and that doesn't allow the goaltender McDonald to see it. So the Devils back up by a goal late here in the second period. Zajac getting the assist on the goal. As the Flames, an opportunity to clear the puck, weren't able to do so. And that has been, so far this season, Charlie, the one issue for Calgary. Mistakes have haunted them. Colborn shot, kicked away by Brodeur. He's knocked down by his own man. Zajac has the puck as Brian McGratton went hard to the net. Brodeur got bumped, but it was a man in white, not a man in red who did it. Colborn looking in front. McGratton couldn't control the pass. Glenn Cross out with this line. Puck taken away. And Travis Zajac, who's having a very strong game for the Devils, gets it ahead. Bernier crosses the line, but he was all tied up by a pair of flames. Three minutes to go here in the second period. The Devils up by one. Pass comes to Stepniak, but he couldn't get enough on it. Here comes New Jersey. Gianta steps up. McDonald save, rebound, lays there. Calgary get it. Glenn Cross hits the red line. Ben Street after it. First man to the puck. Street steps on it, falls down. Green's standing over top of him, but they say he played it with a glove hand. And the puck coming out. Devils get a goal from Dana Zubris. They lead by one here in the second. We talked a little while ago about the Calgary Flames of the June draft. It was held in New Jersey, and Marty Brodeur had a, a small role to play in it, as in the seventh round, he announced the Devils selection of his son, Anthony. Devils made a trade with New, uh, the LA Kings to get the pick. They trade, an or they trade and announce Anthony, and there's a lot of family ties within the Devils. Travis Zajac has a pair of brothers undrafted playing in the American Hockey League in Albany. Of course, Brian Gianta, we saw here with Montreal, his brother Steven Gianta was never drafted, was a captain in the American Hockey League for the uh, Albany River Rats. He's now up with the Devils, and Zach Parise, even when he was here, his brother Jordan was a goalie, he got a chance to play in the Devils organization. So Lou Lamarillo and the New Jersey Devils really do believe in family. Well, and it's not just in, in modern times, too. In, in the past, he's also done it, the Mullen brothers. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them played uh, with the Devils. Of course, Joey played here. That one's off the mask of McDonald. They score. It's waved off. An interference call coming up. To
to Dan Ryder as he pushed Weidman into McDonald. He doesn't like the call, but it was immediate, and it was made by the referee right there. Puck was up in the air, and then just a lot of traffic being fired at Joey McDonald. Here they come driving up, and there's the extra push right there, as you mentioned it, uh, Ryder. And he's going to be unhappy right there, driving Weidman right into Joey McDonald, plus the puck. And they wave it off. But, Charlie, there's no penalty. Or is there? Oh, yes, they've come over and they've grabbed Ryder. So Calgary will go to the power play for the fourth time in this game. They're one for three so far. And that's an interesting turn of events for the Devils. Well, and this is where you really have to take advantage of that situation. The puck going at the net probably would have went in without the contact. It was to the left of McDonald. Uh, but he made contact. Uh, we're not going to convince Mr. DeBoer that that no. was the right call. No. The referee on the opposite side of the net did not see the puck as he was about to cross the line. Power play which starts with the play getting control off the draw. And the Devils able to dump it down the ice and now Travis Zajac to Adam Henrique. Yuri Hoodler tying up Henrique and this has killed off. 20 seconds already from the Calgary man advantage. Well, just not a lot of space out there when you play the Devils. And uh, they are taking advantage of that right now and trying to just bottle up the planes, not allowing them to skate freely through the neutral ice. Zone. That pass there, but hustling back is Lee Stempniak getting in front of Dana Zubris. Stempniak gets by everybody, has the puck behind the net, comes back to Giordano at the point. Over to Weidman. Gets it into Stepniak, turns, shoots. Glenn Cross parked in front of the net, but the shot went wide. Giordano storms in from the point to keep it alive in the corner. Now it comes out. Weidman waiting for it in the slot, and he fired over top of the net. Hoodler and Weidman collide with Zubris. Now Glenn Cross, as it bounces to Hoodler. Back to Glenn Cross. Flames have never quite had full control. They shoot it at the side of the net as Glenn Cross. It's bouncing. Calgary's getting chances. Now they've got control. Hoodler to the point. That one's blocked and it hurt. Volchenkov. Back to Weidman. His shot and that one kicked off the toe of Brodeur. And Weidman keeping it into the point. Down low, Giordano cross ice. Hoodler into the middle. Step Tied up just enough. Now Hoodler with it. Cross ice. Giordano. Towards the net. Scores! Mark Giordano! Well, that's the life you want to have in your power play. Good enthusiasm after they got set up in the offensive zone. That set the Devils penalty kill. Just chasing after that. But right here, they keep the puck in play. It's bouncing around. They move it around over to Mark Giordano. It's going to come around the boards right here. Nice little move here, and he fools everybody. I think Rodeur thought he was going to pass off to his left, off to the side of the net. He had already moved across the net, looking towards Curtis Glencross, and then just a quick, soft backhand shot at the net gets his tied up. Well, it wasn't pretty, but it was effective. And the Flames with two power play goals here in the second period are tied at two with the Devils. One last chance. McDonald with a big toe save. And Boma gets it out into the neutral zone. Pro Hockey Life, the ultimate hockey megastore. Calgary scored two power play goals in the second. Zubers gets one for the Devils. It's 2-2, Darren Millard. And I told you the first was entertaining. The second just as entertaining. Uh, Robbie, it's a tight game through a pair. But keep in mind, both these hockey clubs have really struggled in the third period early on in this National Hockey League season. So it could open up. You'll hear from Dennis Wyman on that impressive second period for the Calgary Flames. And why we're more curious than normal whether or not Yarmir Yager actually got a stick on that one. Chasing history on TELUS Flames Hockey on Sportsnet.
Safeway's featured participating product for tonight's game is Post Cereal. And a reminder, a complete review of every Calgary Flames game on Sportsnet Radio, 960 The Fan, immediately following the final buzzer reaction. Our Flames analyst, Eric Francis, stops by. You know, pre-scouting is an amazing thing. The Flames have had a lot of tempo in the first four games of the season. I think the Devils watched, and they slowed it down a great deal. Yeah, you know, almost as surprising as the Flames' great start has been the fact that all their games have been extremely entertaining. Not tonight. Tonight has been a real mucky affair. A lot of, uh, it, they've slowed it down. The Devils have done a very good job. Calgary Flames have not been able to get anything going offensively. All their top players on the top line held without a shot. Berchi, Monaghan, Stepniak, even Glenn Cross, none have a shot on goal. Bob Harley started mixing up the lines late in that period. I would expect they'll continue to do so in the third with an effort on trying to get these guys going. Well, Bob Harley did mention as well, he talked to key individuals in the offseason about playing more involved. One of them was Dennis Weidman. I think it was message received. Yeah, I think so. You know, Dennis Weidman was brought for one reason and one reason alone, and that's offensive hockey. But this year, he's been asked to play more of a defensive role. Now, with all the offense the Calgary Flames have generated in the first four games, he still only had one assist up until tonight. Now, you see there, there's a hit. We're seeing more uh, body checks from Dennis Wadman. He's getting more involved defensively. And tonight, he finally got his first goal. And that's what they hired him for. That's what they pay him big money for. If he does more of that, he'll be one of the better defensemen in the league because he's logging over 27 minutes a game right now. So they're very happy with him. Yeah, nice response for Dennis Wadman. Third grade action's all set. Here's Robin Charlie. Started off with the scoring summaries brought to you by Panago Pizza. Before, during, or after the game, get a fresh Panago. Enrique gets his first of the season in the first period at 13.58. Then a pretty wild second period. Weidman on the power play, his first of the year. Zubris with a great shot through his screen. And Mark Giordano, his second of the year, on the power play late. And that's a big goal for the Flames. They've got one home period left before they head out on a road for an extended road trip. Always nice to leave this barn with two points. Devils can tell you about being on the road. This is the middle of their longest road swing of the year. Five games. Still have visits to Winnipeg and Ottawa, and they're spread out. They play in Winnipeg on Sunday and Ottawa late next week. 2-2 to start the third. Calgary out shooting New Jersey 20-17. 10-10 were the shots, as Charlie mentioned in that second period. Not much to choose between the two clubs. Helped in Stepniak looking for it. The street and Stepniak combined, but it's Zubris who comes up with the puck. Zubris scored his first of the season to put the Devils ahead 2-1 in the second. Jager. Puck poked away by Giordano. Brody is there. Hard around the board, but waiting for it is Steve Bernier. Bernier being pestered by Ben Street. Giordano around the boards. There's Glenn Cross. He'll tip it out. Ben Cross picking up an assist in the second period on the Giordano goal. That gives him eight points in five career games against the Devils. Monaghan tipping it in. Perci after it, won't get to it. And Bruner will tip it out. There's something that Eric Francis was talking about, the pre scouting You have not seen the Flames get the middle ice in those breakaway passes like we saw in the first four games. Well, they're really, the Devils really... Uh, limiting the access through those open areas they are very tight on their, their tight uh, forecheck and sending two or three men in on forechecks so right through the neutral ice zone so that's something that uh, the Flames have not had a look at this season. Long shot, wide, close there. Good to see Chris Russell back out. He blocked a shot in that second period late in the second and it looked like it stung him. Galliardi shoots, didn't get all of it. Harold. Surveying the situation, cuts back, is backhanded to the Calgary end. Giordano, second two-point game of the season. He had two points in the first game eight days ago in Washington, and he's creeping up the scoring charts. He's tied for first place in defenseman scoring with uh, Subban, Enstrom, and Buffalo. That's pretty heady points. Pretty heady company. Yager. Has the puck taken away in the corner by Galliardi. Harold follows up. He has it for New Jersey. Out to center. Widen. Up ahead to Galliardi. He'll backhand it in. 
Arrow back to get it. Yager goes for the big swoop. Up with Zajac. Zajac had a very good game for New Jersey at both ends of the ice. Street. Muscles it ahead. Here's Joe Colborn. 23-year-old Calgary kid holds up. Street below the goal line. Working away from Zidlicki in front. Colborn. His reach worked. The shot off the toe of Brodeur. What a reach by Joe Colborn. He put it right back to Ben Street. But it's Brodeur with a big stop. Well, not too often you see uh, the Flames with any kind of space, especially Joe Colburn as he's able to pick up this loose puck. Puck, good work down on the boards right there. Reaches all the way around, trying to bank it back off the goaltender. Brodeur hit the side of the net and bounced right out to the front to Street, who really did not get what he wanted to get on it, but you can see Brodeur already down, trying to cover as much of the net as possible. Polish dumps it in on McDonald. Shane O'Brien is there. He's taken to the boards. Puck comes free. Chris Butler has it. Skips over McGrath. Stick out to center. Andy Green brings it in. It's offside. Flames didn't see it immediately. And the Devils getting a little assist from the linesman, just reminding him that they're offside. Sean Monahan, he'll turn 19 tomorrow. Shot goes to the corner. Jackson takes his man to the end boards. Weidman shoots, just missed. Russell stumbles, still with it. Down low. Monaghan looking in front. Poodler is there. Russell pitches in from the point. Still has it. Sharp angled shot. Turned away. Russell. One, two, three chances. Side of the net. Another chance. And Hoodler tracked down. Well, it's amazing when you get in so close like that. You have the opportunities, yet the, the master of the gate. Poodler really... Comes up with them big saves and some missed shots by the Flames that have been up by one by now. Michael Ryder. Wide the Calgary in. Taken to the boards by Michael Backlund. Backlund charges ahead. Hits the linesman's skate. It drops straight down and it's Harold with it for New Jersey. His pass by Henrik. This is an icing call and it'll come all the way back down into the Devil's End. Well, Chris Russell, you mentioned uh, that big block shot in, in the uh, second period. Stayed right with this puck. One opportunity, two, three on the back end. And Boodler's just waiting on the wings, waiting for that puck to spring loose. And it definitely did at that point. Russell keeping up on his feet. And there's that bouncing puck. And Boodler gets that arm over for the save. What a stop on Yuri Hoodler. That replay really did it justice. Side of that, it goes through the crease. Calgary beginning to buzz here early in the third period. Flames out shooting New Jersey 6-1 to start the third. We're tied at two. Devils looking for the first victory of the season. Calgary trying to string wins together for the first time this season. Still have yet to lose a game in regulation. Puck stolen. Elias sitting in the weeds. Has it. Gives it to Yager. Shoots. Just wild. Dragged it back and missed the net. Stepniak bounces it in. Brodeur gloves it. He looks like the kid at the end of your street playing road hockey, doesn't he? Yeah, it is fantastic. It is, uh, I mean, he's got that reach. He's got the strength. And obviously, he's got the intelligence and the hockey sense to be a great player, even into the 40s. So many hybrid butterfly goaltenders now. And to watch him. And even Joey McDonald with the double stack last Wednesday against Montreal. Some of that old school goaltending. Well, you start to figure out what kind of style you play, and it could be one of any. I mean, he's got the old-fashioned poke check going. He's got the, you mentioned the, the pad saves, and uh, very active. Calgary and the Devils deadlocked at two here in the third. It's Tellus Flames Hockey. Mark Giordano, two points tonight, including the tying goal. The captain has risen since being named and wearing the C, and head coach Bob Hartley indeed says he was an easy choice. Exactly. Like, uh, you know, when you talk about hard work, like loyalty, honesty, uh, great team guy, like, uh, you know, I feel 
a captain should be the mirror of your hockey team and uh, you know, like uh, when we sat with with Jay Feaster with with the management with my partners even with the players we were talking about leadership Mark Giordano's name was always coming on top of the list so it was an easy choice Calgary keeping the puck in that one bounces off Brodeur just wide Berchi behind the net good shift for the young line of Monaghan and Berchi out there with Yuri Hoodler Zajac pushes with Weidman, but Monaghan follows up into the corner. Berchi it bounces back to Weidman. That one over top of the net. Monaghan also playing a role in there as a connector. And it's Dennis Weidman back to get the puck. Good shift for the uh, the young players again, getting that jump back into their their skating ability. And plus, I think trying now learning how the Devils have been playing this whole game of trying to find that open space. Stepniak hits street back to Stepniak. Glenn Cross goes to the net, but it's intercepted. Nice defensive play by Peter Harold for the Devils. Michael Ryder has it poked off his stick. Stepniak marching back down into New Jersey territory. Dips the shoulder and the backhand up into the mesh. This is a replica of the remote that inspired the big win. The original was tragically lost in a couch. Pick your winners today with pools. Late in the second, Mark Giordano tied this game at two. That gives us our next score and win winner, courtesy of Safeway and Post Serial. Tracy Jarvis of Calgary has won a men's bull of a Marine Star chronograph watch. Congratulations, Tracy. Butler's shot just hit the outside of the net. It caromed off a couple of bodies and sticks. And Chris Butler, who has never scored a goal here at the Dome, nearly got one right there. And it all leads back to what we've been talking about. You win face-offs, and that's what happens. The Flames win this. It's a bouncing puck to start with. Went off a Devils a forward driving out to the front of the net, or to block, and just off the side of the net as no one was able to pick up that puck as it bounced up high in the air. Shots. 7-1 here in the third period in favor of the home team. 27-18 so far for Calgary. But it's tied at two. Puck kicked off the boards. Eliash to Yager. Armour Yager. Can't get by Giordano. Here's Lance Boma. He'll play it in. By Salvador back to pick it up, the 37-year-old captain of the Devils. Oh, what a playoff he had two years ago when this team went to the Stanley Cup final against Los Angeles. He was superb. A good, another good uh, choice as a captain of a hockey club. Zajac delays, gives it to Bernier. After it, Bruner. Brody will get there. Tipped out. Berchi is going to get called. The icing is going to come back. Intact Insurance is proud to sponsor the Calgary Flames and all the fans who carry a torch for them. Intact Insurance, you're back. Sportsnet Magazine has the breakdown and predictions for your team of the current NHL season preview issues. Subscribe today at www.sportsnet.ca slash magazine. Ryan Dixon authoring the preview on the Calgary Flames. I got my edition a couple of days ago. Very helpful. Entertaining, informative, as Sportsnet Magazine always is. Jerry Hoodler jumping it in. Monahan in on Green. Green goes one way, Monahan the other, and the puck comes right to Zajac. Little trouble controlling it. And he'll play to the blue line of the Flames. Both the clubs been really not having themselves good third periods this season. The Devils have been outshot by four goals in the third. The Flames two. Larson. Up the middle, he finds Michael Ryder, and he'll flip it in. This one bounces by Joey McDonald. Pokes it away from big Ryan Cole. He is a big body back there. As Colburn bounces it down the ice. We've got a race for it. Here's a test of hybrid icing. And it goes in favor of New Jersey. McGratton couldn't quite get to it, but that is what hybrid icing is all about, right? You can race to, to get to that face-off circle to see who's in the best position. And this is probably the closest example that we can have just about a half a step behind at that point as uh, Volchenkov just reaches in. Right there is the deciding factor. Right at that face-off dot, the linesman right on the spot made the correct call. 
and uh, face off back at the other end. So the Flames' fourth line goes up against the Devils' number one line. Salvador to the middle. Zubris got a stick on it. It hits Zubris in the body, gets it back to Eliash, but it ends up at the point. This one deflects into the corner. Patrick Eliash is there. In front, McDonald makes a save, and he sprawls out to smother the puck. And that's the advantage, and, and I like it with the, that icy call. You can't make that lineup, good or bad, for your team or against your team. And that allows Peter DeBoer to get his number one line up against a very tired, uh, aggressive checking line of the Flames. Right here is the scramble. A lot of bodies in front. Good coverage there. Defensively, red all over the place in front of Joey McDonald. And that's the number one key. When you fall back, you protect the front of the net in a tight game like this. Salvador plays it to the corner. Olish is there. Turns around. Rare shift. For Jacob Josephson, his first game this season. He was scratched in the first four. Glenn Cross plays it in. Trying to go around Zidlicki. Gianta. Hot by street. Flames playing without Matt Stajan week to week with a lower body injury. David Jones week to week an upper body injury. And Mike Camilleri shot. Just dribbles wide. Camilleri is skating for Calgary. Not sure about his return when. Another icing call. And Bob Hardy says it all depends if Michael Camilleri is standing up or sitting down if it's an upper or lower body injury. But Michael has been skating hard every day, getting re himself ready. As far as condition-wise, as was Jackman, Derek Smith doing the same thing. Chris Green was Chris doing the Green. same before yep. he was being sent. He sent down for conditioning. So these players are hungry. They want to be a part of a team that's winning and being successful. Tired of skating after and before practices with Dominic Pittis. It's nothing against the Flames' skills coach. <laughs> They'd rather be in game situations. Giordano, as the puck bounced to him, up to Sven Berchi. Berchi coming off a game against Montreal, which is coach Bob Hartley said is his best as a Flame. Well, he did play some physical hockey, picked up a goal. Got into the face of Subban, got some stitches. It's quite a profession when a good day involves getting stitches, but it's true. Adam Henrique had the first goal of this game, first goal of the season in the first period for New Jersey. Giordano and tipping it ahead to Hoodler, into the middle. Monaghan trying to get it back to Berchi. Harold, who's been very noticeable for New Jersey, intercepting that and leading the rush. Harold into the slot, but it slips to the corner. Blocked. Picked up. Henrique has it. Michael Ryder goes to the front of the net, shot over top, and it's going to come all the way back down into New Jersey territory. I agree with you. Harold's really had himself a very good game. And quietly, too. You don't really notice him. He's not a flashy skater, but he's able to get himself in a, in a good defensive position and move the puck up the ice. Time property of the LA Kings. Wyden checked by Eliash. Yager trying to give it back to Zubris. We're going to see an awful lot of this top line for New Jersey here in the third period. Pete DeBoer throwing them almost every second shift. Yager battling with Weidman. And it's Zubris who comes up with the puck. Salvador, that one's blocked. Jay Galliardi got in front of the point shot. Zuber is playing it down low. Patrick Eliash is there. Chris Russell battling with him. Weidman comes over and knocks Eliash down. And puck rolled back to the point. There's Zidlicki's there. He gives it to Zubris. Back to Zidlicki. Protecting the puck. Backman watches him. Zidlicki up top. Salvador gets the bounce pass over to Zubris. Zubris. In front. McDonald, where is it? It's not in the net. Now a shot. No. Holds up. Zidlicki blocked. Flames running around in their own end. Puck comes back to Salvador again. It's blocked by Boma. It looked like the puck was in the back of the net. It never crossed the line, and now Lance Boma has kept it from getting to the net. Here's Yager. Back to Salvador. Devils in control. Yager shoots. Blocked again. Now the Flames will get it out. Shoots it into the glove of Marty Brown.
Brodeur. It was close. How close? Glad you asked. As the Calgary Flames get some great goaltending from Joey McDonald, it remains 2-2. Shop and swipe your club card in Safeway today. You could be our next lucky winner. Watch future Sportsnet telecast. You could win a week of unlimited luxury at Dreams Resorts and Spas, courtesy of RedTag.ca. So you want to make a living blocking shots? Lance Boma does a great job right here. Michael Backlund lost his stick. That allowed an extra opportunity for the Devils. Two great block shots by Bowman. And Michael Backlund comes over and blocks one, which sets up a two-on-one with two very tired players in Galliardi and Lance Bowman. Best way to put it, this is big boy hockey tonight. As you are not seeing a lot of room out there, a lot of commitment from both sides, 2-2. Two -two. During the 14-minute mark of the third period, chance in front, tipped away by Sven Berchi. So far in this game, Chris Russell with four block shots, Brian McGratton three, TJ Galliardi three, Lance Boma creeping up in that category as well. Sven Berchi flies up into the devil's end, loses the puck. On his countryman Brewer knocked it away. Adam Henrique will play it in. Just two shots so far for the Devils on Joey McDonald, but they've been good ones. McDonald. Saw in that replay montage that we went to break made a great save along the goal line. Just off that post is the puck will bounce back out front. Pick it back out. Jordano tied up behind the play by Ryder. Ryder wearing the same number 17 that Kovalchuk wore, but Kovalchuk decided to go to the KHL this year. It's just strange to see the number 17 in the front goal. It really is. Ryan Cole, funny hop off the glass, Backlund jumps on it, flies right into a group of white uniforms. Weidman shoots, and that one goes wide. Comes all the way back down to the blue line of the Calgary Flames. Russell, the pass ahead by Weidman to Galliardi, but it's offside. Calgary and the Devils tied it two late in the third. Tell us, Flames hockey. Our game review brought to you by Intact Insurance, your home, your auto, your business. Ask your broker about Intact Insurance Company. Yuri Hoodler continues his hot start with two assists, had a great scoring opportunity. The power play from the back end, both defense, both goals come from defense. One on the power play, Giordano is second, Weidman is first, and great job on the face-offs, 64%. Glencross whistles one wide, and Marty Brodeur will hang on to it. Another good look at definitely first ballot <laughs> Hall of Famer. Right there, 41 year old Martin Brodeur. Is 121 it, career shutouts. Is it the last time we see him here in Calgary? As he said, he said he'd like to keep playing as long as he's having fun and staying healthy. And that's the key, I think, for a goaltender like him. Well conditioned. He doesn't really waste a lot of energy between the, the pipes when he's out there. You really can't figure out what kind of style he is. He's a throwback old-time goaltender half the game, a blocker part of the game, but always a competitor. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say no. It is not the last time we will see Marty Brodeur here in Calgary. Flames may see him again when they travel to New Jersey. That game, April 7th in the new year. Flames want to come back out in the neutral zone. And also a pretty good goal scorer. Very good, accomplished goal scorer. The shooting ability. Well, Eric Francis mentioned it was a great quote today from Bob Hartley, who coached against him in junior and in the Stanley Cup final. He called him a good D-man, great goalie, and shoots the puck as hard as any forward. Yeah, he does with that goaltender stick, and it uh, really comes invaluable uh, as you're killing a penalty. When you're throwing the puck in, you think you're going to get possession of it, and all of a sudden he comes out and plays the puck. Yager behind the net. Zubris looking for a second. He hit the outside of the post. Zubris, the young man on this line at just 35. Out there with Eliash 37 and Yager 41. 
And Yager keeping it in. A break, race for it. Giordano comes over and sweeps it away. Stepniak can't get it by Zubris. I don't know. They might like to watch Matlock in the afternoon, but they're a pretty effective line in the evening. They really are. They spent a lot of time in the last couple of shifts in the offensive zone. And unfortunately for them, not getting that puck by Joey McDonald. Rodeur behind the net. Plays it to the corner. Calgary knock it down, but they'll say it was gloved ahead. And the faceoff will come back out in the neutral zone with just over three minutes to go here in the third. And the Devils perhaps looking at maybe their fourth consecutive game with extra time. Well, they are getting themselves in a position to do that. And both these teams are looking for two points out of a very tightly checked physical battle. Salvador over to Zidlicki. Puck comes back to the point. Russell holds the line. Monaghan behind the net. Derchi tying up Klo. Monaghan pinches it back to the point. Weidman is there. Weidman looks through traffic, finds Berchi. Cross ice, scores! Sean Monaghan! Rob, we talked about in the open the communication between these young players and Monaghan has struggled all night trying to find his niche in this style of game but they move the puck around Monaghan here starts it out to the point now he gets himself into a scoring position down the boards to Sven Berchi nobody picks up Monaghan Sven Berchi with a great hard pass and a quick redirect right there Bryce Salvador turns right at the wrong second and the play is made and Shant Monaghan gets the big goal late in this game. Sean Monaghan has scored in every NHL game he has played so far. That's five, and he has scored goals in four consecutive games. And Calgary now up by one, their first lead of the hockey game. Wyvin and Berchi with the helpers. Puck played from the corner to the net. Zajac with it. And Weidman checking him. Flipped into the corner, Galliardi swings, misses. Russell blocks it. Zajac trying to hustle it in the front, he can't. And it's Chris Russell. Great play by Russell to make the defensive move first. And then he buys his team some time by taking it down the ice. Eliash. As the Devils trying to avoid, avoid going winless in the first five games as Marty Brodeur is on the bench for the extra attacker. Eliash back to the point. Harold has it and escapes. Taken away. Stepniak though couldn't control it. Harold caught just enough of him. And with just under 90 seconds to go, Yager misfires. Fighting for it. Zubris. That one's blocked. Giordano plays it off the glass, but did it touch anything? I don't think so. It They're doesn't look in. like it. It looks like the Devils. Yeah, the Devils are going to get a power play here. This is just hard enthusiasm by Mark Giordano on the backhand. He wants to just rip it off the glass and catches it up in the top. A bouncing puck at that point, and he just snaps it. Right away, you can see him cringe at the last second that he knew that was up and over. Our next Safeway score and win winner, courtesy of Safeway, by swiping a free club card, Christine Resso of Duchess has won a DVD prize pack from E1, courtesy of Safeway and Post Serial. And the New Jersey Devils have called a timeout as they have a minute and 19 seconds with the net empty, six on four. Let me think, which line do you think DeBoer is going to put out there first? <laughs> the young kids? A line that's got a lot of experience, a lot of goals, and a lot of good opportunities here tonight. But uh, the big difference right now is Sean Monahan. Great goal down here. It starts below the net as Russell keeps it in. They fired all the way around. Monahan starts it down in below. Goes around. Berchi's going to pick it up. 
as they chip it back to the point. Berchi stays in a, in a defensive position. Monaghan slides across to the right of Brodeur, and this is just a tremendous pass by Sven Berchi. Tape to tape, and Monaghan just has to change direction. Big penalty kill coming up for Calgary. Net empty for Jersey. They win the draw. Zidlicki at the point. Yager has it. Miliash in front, and it's tipped away by Ben Street. Active stick. Eliash back to the point. Zidlicki. Back to Patrick Eliash. Down low. Joey McDonald with the save. He comes over, but Calgary, can they get control? No, Zidlicki keeps it in at the point. Brody trying to take it away from Eliash. Ryder back to Eliash. Back up top, Zidlicki shot blocked in the chest by Boma. Oh, what a warrior Lance Boma's been in this hockey game. Well, especially here in the third period against this line in a defensive position, right in the slot area, is able to get that body and make the big block. Ring around the boards, fans are into it. Butler can't get it by Eliash, 23 seconds to go. Eliash turns, Bernier parked in front of the net. McDonald blocks it off, Yager back to Eliash, back up top. That one's stopped. Now in the corner, less than 10 to go. Butler, as it comes to Eliash, in front, passes wide. Turn around, Harold, side of the net, McDonald down. The Calgary Flames have beaten the New Jersey Devils. Talk about block shots, Boma. Michael Backer with a big block himself. The Flames show a lot of heart in the third period, especially on the penalty kill, and now you're seeing the true meaning of a team effort here. Sean Monaghan with the winner late in the third. Calgary beats the New Jersey Devils 3-2 at the Saddle Dome. Telus Flames Hockey on Sportsnet. Brought to you by Telus. The future is friendly. Here's a look at tonight's three-star selection. The third star with a magnificent job of shot blocking in defensive hockey was Lance Boma. Mark Giordano with a goal and assist continues his fabulous start for the Flames. And Dennis Weidman with three points, a goal and two helpers, including a setup marker and the game winner by Sean Monaghan late in period three, tonight's three-star selection. So the Calgary Flames wrap up a marvelous three-game road stand with back-to-back -back wins. Sean Monaghan with a winner, his fourth of the season as they continue on to the road for a five-game trip. Now, more baseball coming your way, playoff action. And to update that, here's George Popolis and Aaron Hawksworth.